I thought it was a great team effort. Uh, you know, disguised also by other just unbelievable individual performances uh, from my team, and just uh, really proud of, of them and, and, and what they brought to this game and how they uh, you know, fought through everything. And you know, Remy was, was spectacular tonight, with uh, you know, especially with his sort of shot making, his assists, his island again, over 20 rebounds. I mean, it's insane what he's doing out there for this team. And uh, Rob Edwards really bounced back from the USC game. You know, played very well. As, uh, I just liked how our offense, you know, kind of led us in this game. It's been the defense mostly in the rebounding, and tonight that really wasn't the case. Uh, uh, and I think guys stepped up and you know, percentages and points we scored. And so there's a lot to uh, to feel good about tonight. Melo always has a lot of movement down low, but it just seemed like early in the game he was really calling for the ball, getting position. Did you, did you feel that? spark the offense too going forward? Yeah, I thought his three-point play was huge uh, and an important part of the game. And, uh, you know, when he gets his touches, he's, he's been converting and making his free throws. And, uh, you know, he, he uh, outside of, of the three that, that uh, Coleman hit on him in regulation where he wasn't up enough, he did a very good job of moving his feet. You know, when he was switched on to the guards, we had to change up some of ball screen coverages because they were... Uh, you know, they, they were getting some, some things happening, uh, whether it was getting in the paint or the roll or, the, you know, or hitting a three-point shooter. They, they, uh, they played pretty good offense. I mean, 14 for 28 uh, from three is, is a, an impressive number uh, for Arizona. What were you trying to accomplish on the last possession of regulation and then? It, it, it just wasn't, it was not, um, it wasn't executed the way we drew it on the board. That's not the shot we wanted to get, um, you know, we were looking for, for a cross screen for Zylan uh, on the baseline quickly, or or Rob was going to be coming off the pin down from Romello and and uh, and Lou just you know just you know, maybe a little mental block or whatever it was. But uh, our conditioning pays off. The way these guys work and practice and push each other and games like this matter. And uh, to have good guys that just have the motor that that guys like Zylan and Remy and Lou just like don't really get tired and they can stand up to play in these kind of minutes and overtime. I know the last few weeks you talked about Remy really finding that balance between when to pass the ball, when to shoot the ball. It looks like tonight was a perfect example of finding that balance. Yeah, and, and he was really doing a good job of like not going really fast in ball screen. He was kind of doing a nice job of just maintaining his handle, letting the play develop, and then, and then figuring out what the right read was. And he made some really good uh, in tight quarters, bounce pass, quick pass uh, to Lake and, and Mello and, and Zylan. So he was he was fantastic. When U of A went on that run and, and went up by six, it would have been real easy for the team to kind of panic, but they held it together. Can you kind of talk about how they, they did that? And yeah, them? I mean, Arizona has, has been in a lot of games. They didn't, you know, didn't have Jeter in, in the last two, and that was a little different. He, he, without him, they, they don't have the, the real presence. Uh, so just having him on the floor makes makes a big difference for, for Arizona. So um, we've been in, in games where we've lost leads and we've had to fight through and, and push ourselves through. But you expect a team like Arizona with the success they've had and the tradition that they've had to um, to to expect to win and they played a winning game and uh, just proud of you know how we just had a little more in the tank in overtime. Just piggybacking off of that, you guys were up for most of the game. And obviously you go down. What was your message to the team uh, around that point? Just go out and got to stay in the game. I think we were, we were just doing some things on defense that were a little uncharacteristic. We were, we were you know, losing shooters, and uh, and then you know we, we gave up way too many offensive rebounds. I thought that they were a little quicker to 50-50s tonight than, than we were, and we're, we're usually that team. And uh, that was like one negative for me is that we gave up like 16 offensive rebounds, which. Uh, you know, which gave them more more opportunities, and then they could make us work more in defense. So we got to do a better job of rebounding. We've been really good most of the year. Midway to the second, you switched his island on to Coleman. Yep. What made you do that? Was that was that was good uh, by Coach Berno. Um, you know, making that adjustment to uh, wanting to get more size on him uh, and, and Zion, we can move his feet and guard any position on the floor, and uh, just to be able to stay in front. And then if Coleman got in the paint to just have a guy that had the wingspan and the length to, to challenge the shots in the lane. What's Bobby, the... was this a must-win game for you guys? I mean, I, I don't really subscribe to, like, must-wins. Uh, you know, I, 
and just it, it was an all-in game. I just think you know we've been kind of doing that the last couple of weeks. Um, so uh, just the way we played, I thought I thought we should have been up more. And I, I'm I'm deflecting what you're saying because I, I'm don't have a true answer to that. I, I do think at home you have to win in this league, and and uh, that was a main priority. But first half, I thought the way we played, we should have been up more uh, than we were, and that was a little frustrating um, for whatever reason. You know, we, we held them to low shooting percentages, and, you know, we got to the free throw line. We did a lot of things well. Just the scoreboard, you know, didn't show it as much as it was. That was the one thing when we were going in the locker room I was a little concerned about. I'm surprised nobody said it, but hey, congratulations on the win. Uh, I guess just your thoughts on beating Arizona. I mean, our, our fan base is excited. Our 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 players are very excited. Our students were, were were unbelievable. The crowd was was ridiculously great, and they they enjoyed themselves, and everyone left happy. So it's a great night for everyone. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm right now uh, I'm exhausted uh, to be honest, and uh, you know it's it hasn't sunk in the, you know what this means to me other than you know we got another conference win and we're six and three and. And now we're moving on to next week. Are you concerned at all about a lot of the three pointers you gave up seem to be open looks? In the first half, especially, it was. Uh, and then again, uh, you know, they were hurting us with, with with the ball screens. You know, with, with Coleman, it was very simple. They weren't doing anything that was, you know, that t other teams don't do. We just we were missing some assignments, and uh, we had to just go to the all out switching. Uh, and and even then there was some confusion, you know, sometimes with the switching and we, we left Luther open a couple of times. So, you know, we could uh, certainly we weren't perfect uh, on defense and, and they shot well and they have to make the shot. So, again, I've, I've talked about shooting threes and even if you're in a shooting drill, if you're in a shooting drill with no defense and, and you shoot 50 percent, then, then you're doing pretty good. So it's it's impressive that they shot that well and uh, you know, considering that there's there's defense out there and the crowd and everything that's going on. Yeah, you, yeah, Coach, you're done here. You're done. Am I done? Yeah, <laughs> See, thank you. This is the real guy that you want to talk to here. Get up, you're done. <laughs>